On March the 21st, 2022, China Eastern Airline Flight MU5735 crashed on a mountain in Wuzhou, Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region, while on a mission between Kunming and Guangzhou. As soon as the accident was reported, it aroused great public concern. At 1 p.m. on March the 22nd, the People magazine, which is renowned for professional feature stories, published a feature article containing a large amount of personal information about the people involved in the accident and caused controversy. As the feature was only published within 48 hours after the incident, the media ethics were greatly questioned. We cannot entirely deny the value of this article because timeless is an important part of the news value. Without such pieces of soft news, the public would only get the same official announcement released by the authorities over and over again. On the other hand, the speed with which the feature was published has raised questions about whether the journalists harmed the victims' families in the process. In crisis reporting, is it necessary to do interviews with victim families? And how should the media avoid the second damage to the victim families? The first thing we need to pay attention to is the legal issue that will be involved in media reports. Apart from learning principles of media ethics, we also need to know the practical experience from journalists. Therefore, we interviewed Dr. Edgar Yun. He is an associate professor of International Journalism Program in BNU HKPU United International College. This is a new question to Chinese uh, uh, journalists because uh, the Personal Information Act came effective on November the 1st, 2021. So it was a few months ago when this law came into effective. Now from that, the official make an announcement saying that the identity of the passengers mm -hmm. are privacy, that is to be protected by the law. So any reporters who might get the identity of the passengers on board must be illegal. Liang Jianhao, who is now working in News Weekly magazine, has written an article about MU5735 and Boeing airplanes. He keeps tracks on this issue and we interviewed him of his personal opinion about People's article. Returning to the question of media ethics, how should journalists handle interviews with victims and their families under legal conditions? Before a reporter requests for an interview or chase after somebody to have an interview, you have to ask yourself one question. What are you intend to get or what sort of information are you intend to get from the source or the interviewee? In the so-called golden 72 hours of news reporting, the focus of such a major social security incident should be on the fact that it happened, focusing more on how, what and why more than on who. Information about the victims is indeed a highly publicized area. But journalists can do it in the right way. If you want to, you want to get the mood or the feeling of the uh, of the family members and friends of the passengers, you can observe what they do from apart, right, from a distance, instead of confronting them face to face. We'll have to pay respect to human beings. In fact. There are many cognitive gaps between journalists and the public in the reporting of such essential events. The public needs information, and it's a journalist's job to collect and report information. 
with increasingly advanced technology, the relationship between journalist and the audience has become two-way. As for journalists, they need to follow the news ethics in the interview and report, while considering the news values such as timeliness, validity, and proximity. Another neglected problem is that. After an emergent accident happens, in the case of information strictly blockade, the relatives of the victims also want to know the accident information and other victims' information. They also want a source that will give them a voice in negotiations with the relevant authorities, and journalists can help them at this time. The public should also be aware of the fact that journalists are there to record individual lives. Rather than making these deaths just a number officially announced.